I've got no ammo with my MP40. That's always the worst time. When you have run out of ammo, luckily I've got my trench gun. Um, probably just save up and buy the Thompson instead of the MP40 because I'm going to be training in here. I'm not going to open them stairs. I was talking about I'm going to go back through the power room, open the other side, get speed colder that way. Uh, don't like opening these stairs. Just more zombies that can come down and trap you. I've got jug, so normally I'd open this room and start tr like, training for points um, before I got jug, so I wouldn't be quite confident to start with. But then after I got jug, I'd be all right. But it's nice to actually come into this room and start with jug anyway. Um, do I need either of them? There's one zombie, so I'm going to get that. Get 400 free points. I'm going to hold off buying the Thompson at the minute. I've got my trench gun. And you know what always happens in zombies. I'll swap out my gun. And I'll get a max ammo the first kill that I get after that. So I'll grab that. I'm going to throw a grenade there. And there just random. Hopefully they get some spawning in. Um... Yeah, so the plan at the minute is just to chill in there for a few rounds. Hopefully we can survive. And then get upstairs, get speed cola, get double tap. And then come back down here and see how long we can survive. But I uh, wanted to talk a bit about E3 as well with you guys in this video. Uh, now, I don't know what, what you guys thought about E3 this year. Uh, while I'm recording this, it only finished a few days ago, maybe not four days ago. But... I actually think it was one of the best E3s I've seen. So many good games. Um, the game I'm most excited about is Fallout 4. I'm a massive Fallout fan. Fallout 3 is actually my, one of my favourite games, if not my favourite game of all time. Um, so I'm super hyped for Fallout 4. And I really didn't expect Bethesda to uh, announced that it was coming out this year. Obviously it was teased a little bit before E3, so I expected there to be something mentioned, but I thought they'd say coming like holiday 2016, early 2017 sort of thing. So I was pleasantly surprised when they said it's coming out in November. So I honestly can't wait for that. And the collector edition looks awesome with the Pit Boy. And it's it's only a hundred pounds as well, so it's quite quite inexpensive for a collector's edition which I'm really surprised about. You see some games now collector's editions going for like 170, nearly 200 pounds. So I would I wouldn't pay that necessarily for a game that I just played probably once, but something like Fallout I'd consider paying about 100 pounds for it. Um I'm going to get the Thompson. I've given them enough chance and they haven't given me a max ammo. Unfortunately there's no dogs or anything on this map so I haven't got a guaranteed max ammo coming my way, otherwise if it was on like Shin on him or something, I probably would have just held off until the dog round. But oh well, can't complain. Just gonna try and chill in there. I keep I've done previous runs on this and I get stuck here all the time and they just surround me and there's really nothing I can do. Uh, I've had quite good luck with the box over my last couple of attempts. First one, I got the MG42 on my first roll, and the next attempt, I got the ray gun on my first roll. But there's not really any weapons. Well, there's not really any wonder weapons that I'd want to get on this map. Uh, obviously, in the uh, Black Ops version, you can get the Winter's Hell, but we ain't playing the Black Ops version. And the ray gun, although it is a wonder weapon, don't really want to get it because no P uh, no PhD flopper. Splash damage for days. Oh shit, no, 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 no. Oh, for fuck's... Oh shit. How the fuck did I get out of that? I thought I was dead. I thought I was just going to have to start the recording and start all over again. Whew. I honestly thought I was dead. And then when I managed to get out of the big group of them... I'm going to use the Thompson now, get some points. When I managed to get out of the big group of them... And the other one just hit me a little bit. I honestly shit myself. And there's that max hammer that we knew was going to come as soon as I started using the Thompson. But that was that was not good, guys. That was... Whew. Right. I'm going to go and get... Can I get Speed Cola? Yeah, I actually can. I'm going to go and get Speed Cola. Uh, it's going to cost... It's either 1500 or 1750 to get the doors open to Speed Cola. Um, so we will definitely have enough. 
which will uh, hopefully make life a bit easier, especially on the reload front. But uh, honestly, guys, I thought it was over there. But yeah, talking about E3, I thought it was one of the best um, games that stood out to me. Uh, obviously, Black Ops 3, I'm a massive Treyarch fan. And the fact that the multiplayer was uh, playable for people there is just awesome. I mean, unfortunately, I have never been to E3. Um, never been to America even, which I'd love to do. Um, hopefully, maybe one day, who knows, I could be going with YouTube. Or if I do go to E3, if I'm still doing YouTube, I could show you guys. But I thought from the gameplay that I've seen... I'm Black Ops 3. Obviously, I've done a few videos on my channel with the information that we've found out so far. Um, I actually think that it looks like when you look past all the aesthetics and the, the new weapons and stuff, I actually think it looks like a classic Call of Duty with like the map design, the map layout, the way the guns are balanced. And I really just can't wait until November. I mean, I loved World at War. This one is my favourite Call of Duty ever. Uh, possibly because it was my favourite one and it was at a time where all my friends played it so it was like a big group of us always playing it and then oh shit 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 no 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 don't get stuck Whew, panic then um, yeah but World of War was my favourite I picked up COD 4 after World at War uh, after I got into COD through World at War um, I did enjoy COD 4 always thought World at War was better though and then obviously from Modern Warfare, to Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, even Ghost of Advanced Warfare, I've always got them on release day. COD's always been a big game for me. Um, obviously my YouTube is mainly based around Call of Duty. So, that was the influence there. But I've always been excited for Call of Duty titles to be released, but with like Ghost of Advanced Warfare, although I did get them on release day, and it was like, oh... Maybe Advanced Warfare I was a bit more excited about, but especially Ghosts. In my opinion, Ghosts was the worst one of all. Um, if this is the last guy, I'm going to go and get double tap because I've got enough points and it'll help me with my trench gun because I think it um, helps you cut back your weapon a bit faster. So. What? Oh no, I bought the electric trap instead. Oh, fuck it. Did I, did I buy? Oh, I bought I bought bouncing betty's fuck's sake. So all right, so I haven't got enough money to buy double tap at the minute. Then I'll have to get it at the end of the next round. I thought it said click to buy. Oh well, I'm gonna put one here, and I'm gonna put one here. So if I get stuck, it will blow them up. Um, yeah. Well, I, I can't even remember what I was talking about. Oh yeah, ghosts. Uh, I didn't like ghosts at all. I think it was possibly the worst Call of Duty I've ever played. It was it was all right, but it was just boring. I mean, I don't, it, I didn't even get to first prestige on multiplayer. I didn't play it that much. Um, yeah, I didn't even play it on release day either because it just wasn't, wasn't, didn't look fun, didn't look interesting. Uh, Advanced Warfare was all right to start with, I think. I actually prestige within the first week. Um, I loved multiplayer when it first came out, but I think the not not nostalgia. I think the novelty of like the exosuit. Uh, wore off very quickly and I think a lot of people in the community have got bored of the exosuits I'm glad that they're not returning in Black Ops 3 I think that with the new movement system with like the thrust jumps and that I think that will be effective to use but I don't think it will be annoying and obviously you can't jump like three stories high like you can with the exosuits which is extremely annoying but I'm just sorry guys I was just concentrating I'm not getting stuck but yeah, the games that stood out to me was Fallout 4. Uh, obviously being a massive Fallout fan. Um, I was thinking about doing a Fallout 3 playthrough on this channel. Uh, on the lead up to Fallout 4. But I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. Um, obviously Black Ops 3, which I've already mentioned. Uh, I will be getting a PlayStation 4 for that, for the DLC and everything. I was, it was my intention always to get. For those of you who didn't know, I have a PlayStation 3 and a uh, Xbox One. It was always my intention to get a f uh, PlayStation 4 at some point um, for obviously the exclusive games that they've got. I do like some of the games but 
obviously this decision for uh, Activision to side with PlayStation for the next three years with DLC and everything, I think that's just accelerated my decision to get a PlayStation 4. Um, so I, I was going to get one, I'm not just buying one solely for the early DLC. I mean, I'm on round 11, which is good. Um, solely for the, I'm not buying it solely for the DLC uh, that you get on COD. Uh, although that is a factor, because obviously I want to cover all the... Uh, the zombies maps, the new zombies maps that come out as soon as they come out for you guys. Um, so it helps with that. I'm just gonna have to get it. I mean, I've got a couple of months after um, Black Ops 3 has been released to get a PS4. Because obviously the first DLC is probably not till like January, February. Um, so that'll be all right. But other than that, really, um, Uncharted 4 looked great. Um, at the time of recording this, this is Monday, uh, Batman Arkham Knight, I think, is it Arkham Knight? No, yeah, Arkham Knight, yeah. Uh, that comes out tomorrow, that looks really good, but obviously only on PlayStation. Uh, so I will be picking that up. But yeah, there was, there was so many good games. Um, Halo 5 looks alright, I've never been a Halo player. Oh, I'm going to stop it, I'm fucked. Oh, that's it, that's it. Wow, wasn't concentrating at all, and I've just fucked it. 11 rounds, that's so poor, but you know what guys, that's like my third attempt at doing this map and everything's just gone wrong, one of the attempts my computer restarted and everything, so I'm just going to leave it there, um, it'll probably be the one video, sorry about that, but it'll be shin on him with the next round, uh, the next um, next episode, I hope you enjoyed that video guys, if you did, um, leave a like and subscribe for more of this series and everything else, uh, also check out my other videos if you haven't seen them, we've got the uh, Natchitoches and Totem uh, part to this series, the very first part, and also the most recent videos are some Black Ops 3 information. So, if you're interested in that, check them out. Uh, there is a video on screen now. If you haven't checked it out, just click the thumbnail, it'll take you straight there. Uh, other than that, guys, if you did enjoy it, leave a like, and I'll see you on the next video.